It all comes down to what you like. Maybe it's apple, chartreuse, forest, mint, olive, sea, and even spring. So the question still remains, where do you fall when it comes to being green? No, not the color green, but more along the lines of being environmentally green. And if you're still not sure, the Newport News Master Gardeners and the Virginia Cooperative Extension recently held a very popular event at the Brittingham Midtown Community Center to help in the decision process to encourage us all to go green. Good morning. Welcome to Go Green. Fine, and you? Good. We've got exhibits all around here. There's a live demonstration going on right there. All right, nice to have you. This is a Go Green Expo 2011. It's the Peninsula's premier sustainability event. Our mission is to educate the public, homeowners, business owners, on environmental good practices, being good stewards of the earth that we have. We're adding the, the leaves and the and the green material to the to the worm bins, okay? They make they make the compost. Well we have a great kids zone. We want to do something to attract the children. They're making worm bins today. We have a great bug booth and uh, 4-H is here doing a science project. So what happens to those who had the baking soda and vinegar? Blew up real quick, right? And we have the, everything for the adults. We have education stations for the adults. So something for everyone. You apply two-thirds of the fertilizer before you till. We started out kind of as an event, a symposium more to attract gardeners in the area. We wanted to expand our audience to attract and give interest to everyone in our city from young to old. So we turned it into more of a festival event that's free and open to the public. I mean, there's so much information online, but it's good to come to an event like this where you can talk to people one-on-one -on -one that can answer the questions that you have. They come in perennials, trees, shrubs, vines, ground cover, all that. I think it's exciting because I, don't, I didn't realize that they even did it. This is the first year I came, and so I thought it was really a lot of different information, a lot of people participating in a variety of ways, showing how you to reuse things how to recycle as well as to do the gardening. We have mostly all day lilies, unlike most backyard gardens. It takes a good nine months to a year to get our vendors together and get all the volunteers together and uh, talk to the public and do all of our publicity. So it, it's, a, it's a real work between a lot of people to make this happen. What we do is we put some sealer on it. It's a Loctite product. It's flexible and it will it sets up in about an hour to 24 hours. Well, the Rain Barrel Workshop is an opportunity for our residents to get engaged in building something, a, a rain barrel into a device that will capture water from their roof that normally would run off into a storm drain and into the Chesapeake Bay through the James River. We'd really like to give the Master Gardeners and the Cooperative Extension Service kudos for doing the right thing. They have developed this over the past four years into a really ultra successful event. Uh, they're looking for non-traditional audience. A lot of the people that came to the rec center today just to visit or to go for swimming lessons are here right now learning about the environment and how they can affect things and how they can make their community a cleaner, greener place to live and how they can save money. I'm extremely proud. I'm so pleased at it and we only hope to become bigger and better every year.